Eric, the, the business of network sports is changing from being reliant on advertising to uh, looking for more revenue streams. Can you talk about uh, what, what those might be and what's going on at Fox? Yeah, I think probably the most obvious one is, you know, the over-the-air broadcasters over the past couple of uh, years um, agreeing with the pay TV providers, cable, uh, satellite, and, and the telecos. Uh, they agreed on a, on a, on a retransmission fee. Um, so really, uh, you know, the, the, the most valuable content, uh, the biggest events, are actually being compensated for the amount of money they're investing uh, similar to what the cable channels are, and you know it had it had become lopsided for too long, and I think I think you really really saw it when when the market turned and and you know both automotive and financials kind of went out of the advertising market. Um, you saw the broadcast network suffer, and with the dual revenue stream of both retrans and advertising, um, you know it makes it a much more level playing field, and it, it, it actually will allow for the biggest events to remain on the broadcast networks and allow us to invest. And I think, as you said, there's even more coming up. I think, you know, a lot of people are looking at these, these multiple devices, whether they be mobile or, or these tablets. And, you know, sports is probably one of the things on those devices that consumers see a lot of value in and are willing to pay for it. So uh, I think we're actually all trying to figure out what that means to another revenue stream. You know, right now people are talking about what uh, network broadcasters do uh, with sports digitally. And uh, just recently the NFL signed a deal with Verizon, so now you can watch an NFL game on a uh, Verizon phone. What, what sort of things uh, is Fox doing? Yeah, I think, um, you know, it was, it was a big deal for us when I was at DirecTV, just previous to coming here. Uh, you know, we were able to do all of the Sunday ticket games to any mobile device and also the DirecTV Red Zone channel, and I think that, you know, I learned a lot from that. I learned about uh, what people are actually willing to pay and what people, how people are going to use it um, and the types of usage. Um, you know, the broadcast network does have uh, a certain relationship with our individual affiliates throughout the country. So, you know, at least this season, you're not going to see live games uh, in market from Fox be available on those, on those devices. However, uh, you'll see from FoxSports.com, obviously, a lot of, a lot of mobile applications uh, for both mobile phones and tablets that have highlights. We have created uh, uh, original content during the week. Uh, we have a series called Lunch with Benefits, which has been amazingly successful. Uh, people um, during the week uh, being able to interact with, with our football talent, with some, of the, uh, with some of the new talent that we have. So you'll start to see a lot of shoulder programming from Fox Sports be developed exclusively for the web or mobile devices. And like I said, we're going to need to figure out exactly what to do with the games, whether they're football, uh, baseball, or NASCAR.